everyone, this is Rosanda and my husband Ruben, and we are here for our first video with Marriage Monday at the Little Pink Casa. We're excited because we are going to be sharing our love story with you today and also um, giving you some tips on how to pray and fast for that special wife or that special husband that you've been asking God for. It's important that as couples, we actually go back to remember how we first fell in love. And this is our um, kind of story of how it happened for us, but take in consideration for you as a couple um, to take time and actually just sit and remember how you first met. What are the things that you and your spouse uh, liked about each other that it made yourself, you know, realize that he or she was the one? First of all, I'm gonna have my husband share because this is his first time that he is sharing um, in our Marriage Monday post. I was praying and fasting. And not only would I, was I praying and fasting, but my mom and dad were praying and fasting uh, for me to have a wife. And also two elderly ladies in the church mm -hmm. were praying and fasting. So it took five English 101 classes to be canceled before I actually got to meet my wife. I know I have to take this English one-on-one -on -one class. <laughs> Why, God, are you canceling all these classes? And, but God had a reason. Yes. God had a purpose. And finally, mm -hmm. my advisor at Rio Salado Community College, she says, Ruben, I found a class for you. It's going to start next week. And you need English one-on-one -on -one to get your degree. The class starts. The teacher, her name was Vivian Sarsom. She starts, you know, tying the class. And then my wife walks in. Rosinda walks in. She walks in and I'm looking at her and I'm like, Lord have mercy. Are, are my prayers answered, God? Is she the one? Lord, is she the one? I kept looking at her and she knew I was looking at her. She knew I was gawking at her and I yes. think she thought, this guy is psycho. It's over exaggerating. Yes. I just couldn't get my eyes off her. And, and I mean, to me, I just thought she was the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen. Aww. And, she, you know, her hair, her face, her, her lips, her smile, her eyes. I mean, she just looked so beautiful to me. And I was like, God, is she the one? Is that her? Could she be the one? You know, we all had to stand up and introduce ourselves. And I never get nervous for anything. Mm -hmm. My legs were shaking when I stood up <laughs> yeah. and I I get up and I felt my knees well, were just knocking see them shaking right though, but right I'm sure you felt but I shaking. felt that they were shaking and I'm saying you know I I you know I <laughs> sing I'm a drummer I'm a percussionist I'm a ventriloquist yeah. I'm looking and I'm like oh my gosh I'm so nervous yeah. thinking I'm gonna die and then she gets up and she starts introducing herself, and I'm like, I was nervous. Yes. She says, oh, yes, I've been to Europe, and I've been to London, and I've been, I've been to Austria, and I've been to uh, Italy, and she's saying all these places, and I'm like, oh, my Lord, she must yeah, be rich. She thought I was rich. Yeah. <laughs> I was. And I was like, afterwards, I just said, God, I have oh. to speak to her, because she yeah. mentioned London. Yeah. She's been to London, England. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I've always wanted to go to London, England. And I'm like, Lord, mm -hmm. I have to speak to her. I have yeah. to talk to her. So Vivian Sarsom had all of us yeah, write. Teacher. Right. Uh -huh. She had us all write a, an essay. And we had her, I just wrote anything and I turned it in and I waited <laughs> for her outside. Yeah. Meanwhile, outside. I wrote like this beautiful poetic essay that was like yes. all about my trip and everything. I didn't care. But, <laughs> but I looked up and then. I was kind of disappointed because he was gone already, right. and I was like, oh no, because I, I was so into writing, because I love writing, and then I realized, oh, he's gone, oh well, see him probably next time in class, right? <laughs> Pacing back and forth, and I'm, I'm, I'm not saying, I'm, I'm realizing, Lord, I don't know what to say to her, how do I, how do I talk to her, yeah. what do I say, I don't know what to say, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll just say to her, I've always wanted to go to London. Yeah. Can you tell me how that London trip was? Yeah, that was out. a good pickup line, yeah. actually. Because yeah. <laughs> it was true, and he really wanted to know. Right. So. I was being honest. So but it wasn't like, hey, baby, you know, what's your right. number? Or something. <laughs> she comes out, and then she sees me. And I, I go, Rosenda, mm -hmm. I've always wanted to know about London. Mm -hmm. 
could you tell me about your trip yeah, in London? Was, how it was? And this is what she tells me. She actually looks me in the eye and she says, hold on. <laughs> I'll be right back. I got another restroom, okay? And I'm, and I'm like, oh no, I messed up. So she takes off, she leaves me standing there. Yeah. She takes off, goes to the, the, the woman's bathroom. Yeah, yeah. And I'm there, like, God, did I just blow it? Oh, yeah, boy. he thought oh. I totally was ditching him. Yeah. It just so happened that it was the high school that I had graduated from just two months before, three months before. So I knew the high school, and he knew that I knew the high school because. I just said that I just graduated from the school that we were at, but this is my first college class. So right. he was thinking, oh my goodness, is there some, is she going to like leave me? Is she ditching? This is her way to get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> I was in shock because I was like, he's not, I looked up when I was done with my essay and I'm turning it in and I'm like thinking, oh, he's gone. You know, he was kind of cute, but oh well, I guess, you know, I'll see him next time in class next week because it was a once a week class. And so I was okay. like, Okay, and then I was like already in my mind thinking, oh, well, okay, I'm ready, let's go, you know, let's go home. And then all of a sudden, I turn the corner, and we get out of the classroom, and he's like standing there. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh. It's like, oh my gosh, what do I do? And he starts talking to me, and he's like, you know, so the first thing I thought of was like, I need to go recollect my thoughts and <laughs> figure out what I'm going to say because I don't know what I'm doing. So I ran into the bathroom as my decoy, as my way to get away, just to think, wow, this is exciting because this is kind of like what I wanted to happen and it's actually happening, you know, right. because he had the courage to, to stop and talk to me. And in high school and, you know, up to this point, a lot of, um, you know, boys, they didn't do that with me. They were always, like, afraid or something. So this guy was, like, really impressive to me. Ruben was so, like, oh, my gosh, he's actually good. He, he's talking to me. So when I go to the bathroom, I just basically looked in the mirror, and I was like, what do I say? You know, I'm talking to him. What do I say? What do I say? And, you know, what do I do? Oh, my gosh. And, and then there was a point in my mind was like, is he the one, you know, thinking like, oh my goodness, like, why would I even think that, you know, we just, I don't even know this guy, and then I walked out, I collected my books, and I walked out real calmly this time, like, oh yes, I'm this mature 18-year-old woman, and I don't know exactly what to say, he was happy that I walked out again, because yes. <laughs> there was no secret passage right. within the wall right, right. for me to get away, and actually, he was probably... He, I think you were shocked that I actually stayed around, right? But right. I came back out to talk right. to you and I didn't yes, like, I was surprised. just kind of waited there for you to leave or something. But I was thankful to God she came back out. Yeah. <laughs> and after that, we, we started talking and we were we started in the, uh, the, in, corridor. In the corridor and then we walked yeah. our way out. And as we walked our way out, uh, uh -huh. I began to tell her more about myself. Yeah. She began to tell me about her London trip. Yes. And, you know, she's like seen Europe. Big Bend, and, and then she went to Europe, and we were out there waiting by, it was like a, uh, by a stair, by yeah. the stairs. Uh -huh. Outside. The, outside, the by the, the sidewalk, campus. the campus. Uh -huh. And all of a sudden, we noticed, yeah. she noticed, and I noticed that there was like this blue light yeah. that was above us. Mm -hmm. we were, after we started dating, and we, were, we realized we liked each other and everything, but we were starting to go back in our, like, talking about things, remember this, remember right. that, and that's what we were remembering. That light was weird, you know, that was over right. us. It right. was like a blue, there was a blue lamp or something over us. So then we went back to the campus, because our class was already over at this time, but we went back to the campus right. to go check out if there was a lamp there, right? right. Or, I mean, like a lamp post. And ask a janitor that works there. Yeah, well, we thought we were going to find a lamp post. Right. And then we get there, and we go right to the same area where we were, and there's what? There's, there, there's nothing. There's no lamp post. And then we ask the janitor, and the janitor says, I've worked here for 20 years, yeah. and there's never been yeah. a lamp post there. And I went to high school there. You know, I would think I would know or remember that there was a lamp post there. Now we know. It was like a little touch from heaven. It was God's, um, you know, just his, like, little... Um, his little sweet message to us, you know, saying that this is a special, you know, night I brought you together for um, such a time as this. But sometimes you don't catch these things that God sends to you at the time. Um, and then I wasn't looking for any husband at the time either. I had this big dreams to go to college and, 
you know, have a career and go travel the world, you know, all these things I had to do. I didn't have plans to become a wife or a mother or anything like that yet. However, God has other plans for our lives. When I, when I knew in my spirit, I was asking the Lord, you know, after I see her sin, I'm like, Lord, have mercy. Is she the one? And like, I was just like, I couldn't believe yeah. that I actually saw this beautiful uh -huh. woman walk in this classroom <laughs> and I was... Oh, I was just like totally, totally oh. captivated by her beauty. Five. But First Peter 3, 3, 4, and 5 says, uh, Your beauty should not consist in externals such as fancy hairstyles, gold, jewelry, or what you wear. Mm -hmm. And rather, verse 4 says, Rather, let it be the inner character of your heart. And that's what I noticed that not only... No one, no one did I see her beautiful smile or you know her hair and everything. I was I was captivated by that, but at the same time, in my spirit, I saw a gentle and quiet spirit in Rosenda. Mm -hmm. And and I noticed that, and I've never I've never really told her that, but I noticed that, and then I not even realizing what you know this verse says, but it says in verse 4, rather, let it be the inner character of your heart mm. with the imperishable right. quality of a gentle and quiet spirit. In God's sight, this is, this is of great value. Verse 5, this is how the holy women of the past mm. who put right. their hope in God used to adorn themselves and submit to their husbands. So, it's that inner quiet spirit, and that's and that's what I noticed about her. And this is the first, and this is the first time I'm actually letting her know. I mean, I, I've always shared the testimony, but that my spirit knew that she had an inner, you know, that inner character and that inner gentle and quiet spirit within her, and and I knew it was a God thing. But he met me. I wasn't even a Christian yet. I mean, so for him to say that about me at the time it was like, well, that's. You know, that's something that, um, you know, is very special because, I mean, even though I wasn't serving God at the time, he still could see maybe the part of me that was that was there. And I had potential to grow into a godly woman, I guess. <laughs> right? <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> I just want to say that after praying and fasting, and seeking the Lord and have a, yeah. having others pray with me and fast with me, I mm. actually found uh, the woman of God that I had been mm. asking for. Yeah. I asked specifically to God, I go, God, please let her be able to sing. Right. She sings. <laughs> uh, let, her, let her be able to do uh -huh. uh, puppets with me because yeah. you know, I'm a ventriloquist. And she does puppets. I, yeah. I have a puppet named Chango. She has a puppet named Shanae. Yeah. And I go, God, let her back me up in the ministry. Yeah, and so I wasn't even a Christian yet, right? right? right. I mean, that's the crazy thing. He's right. praying for, like, this godly Christian woman. And, I, and I'm not, God knows that. And yeah. I'm not even, you know, I'm not even, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm none of that yet, okay? Um, you know, you need to pray and, and fast if you're looking for that specific husband or wife yeah. or if you're not sure or, um, you know, or you're dating someone right now. Or even if you're married, you know, we have to keep praying and fasting whether before we get married, we find the right one and also during our marriage. Amen. It's the most important time. Mm -hmm. He was fasting and praying. He asked other people to fast and pray with him. Amen. The second thing was be specific. He was specific with the right. things that he knew he was looking for in right. a wife. Yeah. And God has such a sense of humor because I didn't have any of those, you know, right. I didn't have that. I Maybe I had it inside of me that I had it, it hadn't been unlocked yet, um, but yet I wasn't, you know, manifesting those things, qualities yet. Because I little by little as we were dating and as we were engaged and gave my life to the Lord, and um, during those seasons of me growing in the Lord and all that, all these things started to come forth in my life. Amen. Almost like he was like almost prophesying that over me too, right. you know, right. so that I would become that woman of God. And that's right. so important, I think, for husbands when they pray for their wives. Yeah. And glory be to God. God knew 
what he was yeah. doing. He knew that there was a specific reason why mm -hmm. Rosenda and Ruben were going to meet in this English 101 class. Yeah. That's why he canceled five <laughs> of my classes right. to do it and to get me to yeah. go to the right class to be with her. Yeah. He had to come to the place where I lived, you know. He, he, God was, he was asking and praying for a wife, but yet God had to take him to the wife's you know, sit to his to his future wife's city. Right. You know, he had to get him out of the box. So it's almost like you have to open your mind up and get out of the box. Mm -hmm. God's mind, I just put it right there in your past, right? right. Um, or dingle it right there. Oh, there it is. You have to actually probably go go be led of the spirit. Like you had to right. go to different classes. And seek it, right? And your even your his counselor advisor was in on this whole right. thing. You know, right. God had her in on this to tell him and persuade him right. get over there you have to take this class right. and so he's like i don't want to but right. you know he, he <laughs> didn't realize that right. this was god answering his prayer and fasting exactly. and it didn't look in the way that he thought it was going to come he thought he was probably going to meet some girl at church or something you right. know <laughs> but the girl who was drink wasn't in church yet so and she hadn't even known the Lord yet. Yeah. And I also thank the Lord because I actually got to introduce my wife to our Lord Jesus Christ on uh, on Good Friday, yes. and she got to she got to mm -hmm. you know give her heart to the Lord. Yeah. And so during she, our dating time, yeah, during our dating time, she she gave her life. Minister right. witness to me too, like you never know what how God's going to work it out, right. and so we just have to trust Him. Amen. That's always the bottom line, I think, right? Amen. Just Amen. trusting Him. For everything, so go back to your love story of when you first met. Um, we talked about that of going back to when you got married. You know, remember these times um, to to be able to reflect and to rekindle that what you loved about uh, your husband. You know, to see how far you've come and see how far God has brought you through the years. Reminisce those cherished moments that when you were first dating and and everything that. That brought you to your, yes. your wife or to your husband, uh -huh. it will it will bring so much joy mm -hmm. uh, and peace in your marriage. Yes, some spouses uh, tend to become more alike the longer they're married. Okay, so they tend to look alike. Oh, the yeah. longer they're married. <laughs> Has this been the case with us? You think us? I I wouldn't. I, you think we're looking like that? I, I don't, yet. not yet, not yet. I, I don't think so because I. It's not rubbing off. It's not rubbing off, <laughs> and I, I think my wife still has that unique style, and it's it's totally, it's uh, totally, she's totally her, and I'm still totally me. Yeah, yes. and I guess maybe that's more like it, like you kind of look like you look like each other, more like a brother and sister type thing, right, you know, like. Right. So I don't know. I think we could post with brothers and sisters. Yes, what do you think? Yes, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> but thank God we aren't. <laughs> thank you for joining us today for our first marriage Monday uh, video. Just like to uh, do a little bit more of these for you to be able to interact. If you have any questions or comments about any of what we talked about or want to know more, just comment below. Leave us a, a little um, note and tell us what you think. We want you to be blessed today and this week as you go in your marriage and have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.